Welcome to episode 205, John Malone, Cable Cowboy from Connecticut. This is an outline of episode 205. There are three reasons why we study John Malone. First, he's the cable king of the world. Second, he's responsible for many of our most famous cable channels, Discovery, CNN, BET, Telemundo. Third, he is in 2017 the largest landowner in the United States. John Malone was born in Milford, Connecticut to wealthy parents in 1941. Uh, I was born and raised in Milford, Connecticut. Uh, my dad was a, uh, ultimately a vice president at GE and then left and started his own small electronics company that ultimately did reasonably well and went public uh, in, the, uh, in the 60s. He was an electrical engineer. He studied electrical engineering and economics at Yale and graduated Phi Beta Kappa in 1963. Malone took a position with AT&T's Bell Labs, and while working for the telephone giant, he earned a master's degree and a PhD from the Johns Hopkins University. By 1970, Malone decided to put his scientific skills to work for the cable industry. He joined General Instrument, and by the age of 29, he was named president of Gerald Electronics, which had been recently acquired by GI. Malone took a hands-on approach to the job and visited many of Gerald's key customers personally. During this time, he met a cattle rancher named Bob Magnus. Bob Magnus, his partner, was 17 years older and an Oklahoma cattle rancher. A visionary as well as a shrewd entrepreneur, Bob Magnus started out life as a rancher, then started up a mom-and-pop operation where he could often be found stringing cable along telephone poles. That shoestring operation turned into the largest cable TV company in the world. Cable intrigued him because in those days the rural areas had no TV. And having come from the country, um, he was intrigued with bringing TV to the countryside. Literally bet the farm on cable. He tells a somewhat more tawdry story of having decided that he could make money on the side uh, by raising hogs. And uh, after a, a little period of doing that, he decided that, uh, that that maybe wasn't the easiest way to get rich. So he got out of the hog business and into the cable business. They built their first cable system in Memphis, Texas, with 750 subscribers. Bob strung the wires while Betsy ran sales and marketing from the kitchen table. Within two years, they had more than quadrupled the business. Who owned a struggling cable company in Denver. Although his company was on the brink of bankruptcy, Magnus felt it could someday compete with the broadcasters. Malone shared his vision, and in 1972, he joined his friend by becoming the president and later CEO of Telecommunications Incorporated. You know, they were so broke at the time. They, Bob used to say we're we're so broke we got to look up to see bottom, you know, lower than whale shit. <laughs> Very colorful expressions. But, but it was the opportunity, I thought, in my mind, to get the family out of the New York metro and uh, into clear and clean and beautiful Colorado. And, uh, Years of horizontal acquisition, 1973 to 1979. Malone recognized that TCI needed to acquire in order to survive. And in the early 80s, he pushed TCI to invest in small, underdeveloped rural systems. Malone's financial philosophy also kept TCI reinvesting its profits. By putting the money back into the business, the cable company would grow at an unprecedented pace. That same process is going on around the world right now. So that is a horizontal integration process. It drives scale, size. Uh, balance sheet size, financial capability. By the mid-70s, TCI was still millions of dollars in debt, and Malone and Magnus spent countless hours trying to raise enough money to keep the company alive. By using the theory of scale economics, Malone made financial innovations that helped to bolster business for TCI and the cable industry as a whole. Years of vertical acquisition, 1980 to 1999. Under Malone's leadership, TCI and later Liberty Media aided the growth and development of programmers like Discovery, Encore, TBS, and BET. 
I'll never forget when uh, we did this deal. It took about 30 minutes to close this deal. It was real. Uh, and back then, you could do a deal on a handshake, and essentially what we did. Uh, but uh, he wrote me a check uh, at that on the spot for half a million dollars to, to get BT started. And after I got the check, I said, John, I've never run a business. What advice can you give me? He said, real simple, get your revenues up and keep your costs down. And, and it was that kind of straightforward advice that is, I think, is the hallmark of John Mullen. He's a guy with tremendous vision for a complex transaction, yet at the same time, he has just a basic approach to how do you make a business work. Then you have the vertical type deals. Uh, so I own a cable system. So what am I going to carry on my cable system? There's an issue in the early 80s. How do you create channels? How do you create programming that people are interested in enough that they will subscribe to your cable service and pay for the programming? And that was the vertical phase. And so I'd say through the 80s, we probably invested in or acquired probably 30 different companies that uh, were in the programming uh, development and distribution business, things like CNN or uh, Discovery or Black Entertainment Television or Telemundo or, you know, on and on and on. His company, TCI, was acquired by AT&T in 1999 for $55 billion. In March of 1999, TCI merged with AT&T. Today, Malone is a member of the AT&T Board of Directors and chairman of Liberty Media Corporation. But the merger with AT&T was a disaster and he lost $3.5 billion. So that was a disaster. It was a disaster for the shareholders. Uh, it was a disaster for me personally because I was the largest shareholder. And uh, I watched three and a half billion of personal net worth decline rather rapidly, go down to about 500 million. And I could not sell it because I was an insider, I was blocked from selling it. So that was a that was a disaster. Liberty Media, his other cable TV company, continued to do well after TCI. In 2017, John Malone is the largest landowner in the United States. John Malone owns more land in America than anyone. He owns a quarter of Liberty Global, the largest international or cable company with 29 million subscribers. He owns 2.2 million acres of land, making him the single largest landowner in the U.S. What have I learned today? First, John Malone is a true visionary who had revolutionized the cable industry. Second, he understood scale economics and grew his company TCI relentlessly through horizontal acquisitions and later through vertical acquisitions. Third, John Malone succeeded in building the world's largest technology and entertainment company, TCI and Liberty Media. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be John Malone 10 Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.